guys, Miss Crazy Gamer here, and welcome back to another story time with me. Because why not? So, as you can hear me, my voice may sound a bit different, or because of the whole like me trying to breathe thing. Well, if I hear, if you can hear me any like different or something like that, it's because I'm sick. Yes, I know it's weird. It's summer. Like, how in the world am I sick? I don't know. <laughs> okay, it's not like my throat hurts or anything. It's just that. My nose is like real running here and there, so you know it's it's a bit of a pain in the butt to deal with this, but it's okay. I can I can live with it. So uh, anyway, uh, as I said, today we're gonna be doing another story time. This time I'm doing a bit of a more scary st uh, story time, not scary in terms of like spooky scary, but in terms for me and my friends. So anyway, it is uh, like a couple of years ago. I think it was like two or three years ago. Uh, me and my friends got out to you know, you know, get go and walk and eat pizza as usually and you know have fun, uh, like good old teenagers and uh, stuff like that. So imagine a group of like seven girls uh, walking normally down the street and stuff like that, and then all of a sudden two cars crashed one into each, uh, in one into another, and. You, you hear this like massive noise of like boom yes that's a very nice effect I know but boom literally so all of us turn around to see what happened and we see these two cars crashed and like one of the guys in the one car he's like completely uncon unconscious he like he's dead no he's not dead he's perfectly fine he's just he lost it he he is unconscious now but he's breathing normally like he isn't bleeding or anything and the other guy's just terrified petrified like he can't even move so you know as teenagers and like we've never seen this before so we're kind of freaking out but anyway we call the police the police comes and uh, you know all like firefighters and like ambulances and all this stuff and we're just freaking out so anyway uh, the guy that was unconscious wakes up and he looks at his car and he starts screaming about his car he doesn't care about the other driver or anything he's just mad that his car got destroyed literally so he gets out of his car and goes up to the other guy and he's like are you insane like you could have destroyed my car or something like that and we're literally l listening to, to the guy going completely nuts I don't know if he was nuts or it, because he hit him in his head or something like that I don't know but he was going completely insane and the other guys like freaking out and police comes and they start fighting in front of the police uh, the police doesn't know what to do it's just a mess and a half and we're just seven girls over there just chilling next to those two like crashed cars into the police and everything and we have no idea what to do so anyway they fought for like an hour or two I don't know they, they they were fighting for quite some time because we left the area and then came back and they were still fighting there or I don't know there were still people there and stuff like that but anyway um, everything was fine at the end but it was really really scary experience like I don't know I don't know how it feels to be I don't know if you have ever experienced something like that but it was really weird because imagine you like almost seeing somebody die in front of you it's like what no please imagine if you were in the car how weird would that be but anyway uh, we left the area as I said you know we went for a walk and came back the guys were still like fighting and talking with the police and everything and uh, everybody was fine you know there was no bleeding there was no blood or anything the cars one of the cars was completely destroyed literally it was like DD dead and the other car wasn't so badly damaged but the problem is that there was like a, a very big uh, jam because of there's the cars because it was like a it's like a very popular road all the cars go through that road and pass through it so you know there was a very big traffic jam and everybody was like being very annoyed and everything and it was very very loud and noisy and annoying but as I said we left the area everything was fine everybody was fine I think I, I don't think anybody was injured or anything like that so I'm fine with it but it was a very scary experience for me and my friends of course uh, but holy moly it was weird it was very weird but anyway that was my scary story I know it's a bit of a short video but as I said I'm a bit 
sick, so I can't really... It's annoying me. When I have to talk like this, it's very annoying. <laughs> I hope you forgive me. I hope you love me like you always do. I hope you support me. And uh, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more uh, stories, scary stories, awkward stories, any types of stories, uh, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Uh, also, leave a comment saying like, yes, we want more, or no, we don't want any more because you suck. Oh my god. <laughs> and uh, check out the channel. If you like the channel, maybe hit the sub subscribe button because it's cool, you know what I mean? That subscribe button needs your love, as I always say. And uh, anyway, uh, as always, I will see you all later. Take care and stay crazy. Bye!